Hello and welcome to this next video on mobile repairing. In the previous video, we studied uh, one uh, of the PCBs of a mobile phone. We understood what are the different sections in the PCB, what components were placed in the PCB and what each of those components uh, primary functions are. In this video, we will try and understand the front part of the same mobile PCB. As you can see, in the earlier video, we saw the back portion which had the components. Now, this is the front portion of the PCB. Now, in the back portion, we did see some of the components, the network part as well as the power part. And uh, let's now try and understand the front portion. The top uh, tip that you see is called as the speaker tip. This is where the speaker connects to. So, the speaker is the device that uh, helps you hear the other person's voice. The next one is a display tip. A display tip is where the display of the mobile connects to. Underneath these is where you have the keypad tips, which is where the number keys or the text keys, the keypad that you have connects to. So, this, these three uh, portions, uh, these three components or aspects are very clearly visible on the front portion of the mobile phone. The reason why we call them as tips is because this is the place where each of these components connect to. So, one end of uh, the keypad will touch on each of these tips and therefore, whenever you depress a key, that particular number is dialed because of its contact with each of these tips. Let us now move on and try and understand one more PCB of a different mobile phone. Now, each mobile phone will have very different components placed in it and will have a different circuit board pattern. It is important to understand that they can, the differences are very clearly evident and you need to understand how the components are placed to ensure that you are able to repair these mobile phones very well. In this PCB, as you can see, the way the components are placed here are very different than the previous one. From the top, if we try and look at each of these, this is the speaker tip, which is where the speaker connects to. Right next to that is the antenna tip, where the antenna in a mobile phone connects to. Underneath that is the battery connector, where the battery connects to. Right next to that is the vibrator, which vibrates whenever you get a ring. Underneath that, you have the PFO. In the earlier uh, mobile PCB also, we saw the PFO, which is a network component. On the right hand side is also a network component section where you see the network IC or RFIC. Underneath that is a crystal. The RFIC is also a critical component of the network part of the mobile phone and stands for radio frequency. All these combine together to form the top portion of the circuit board in this particular mobile phone. On the right hand side, you see the vibrator. A vibrator is a very small 3 volt motor that rotates and that creates the sense of a vibration whenever somebody calls you and if your phone's vibrator is switched on. This ensures that the device is shaken and you will know that you are receiving a call. So, these are the components in the network section or the top portion of the PCB. Let us now go underneath and understand what are the components here. The first one that you see here is called the power IC. The power IC regulates the power supply to the entire board. So, whenever the power IC is damaged, you will have a problem with the mobile phone. The set could be completely dead or the network may not be available because the power IC supplies and regulates the power to different components. Right next to that is the CPU or the central processing unit. This is the main part which controls the entire mobile phone. It gives directions to each of the components on when what action needs to be taken. And any problem in the CPU can result in problems in multiple components including display, network, keypad, vibration or even the SIM. Right above that is the memory IC. This is where the mobile phone software is saved and some of the internal uh, applications are saved in the memory. If there is a problem in this part, this the mobile phone um, might uh, become dead or it could result in function disorders or application disorders on your mobile phone. Apart from that, let us try and understand a few more components. This is called the SIM tray. This is where the SIM connectors are placed. 
Normally in a mobile phone, you will also have a locking system on top to ensure that the SIM is placed securely in this position. If there is a problem in the SIM connector, your phone may not be able to read the SIM and may not be able to connect to the network. Right next to that is called the software tips. Whenever we need to update the software in these kind of mobile phones, you can place the uh, cable here which typically is aligned into the same order and using that you can flash or unlock these kind of mobile phones. On the right hand side, you will see a module called the FM radio module. This is also called FMIC. This is uh, placed in mobile phones which also has an FM radio capability embedded in it. Underneath that is where you will see all the tips. So, there are multiple tips placed here. Uh, on uh, one of the tips uh, that is placed here is the mic tip. This is where the microphone connects to. And it's important to ensure that you know all these tips are clean, otherwise the connectivity may not be established and that particular component may not be able to function properly. This tip is, uh, is a combination of hands-free tip along with the charging tip as well as data cable tips. So, it connects the mobile phone to a charger, to the headset or to a data cable for communication with a computer device. So, this is how a typical PCB of a mobile phone is and these are how the circuit components are placed on a mobile phone. Now, let us try and understand an actual PCB of this model and see how, where these components are placed. As you can very clearly see, you will be able to understand each of the specific components, you can see them very clearly. So, you have the battery connector and uh, right next to that is the vibrator. The network IC with the crystal is placed here, the PFO is here and you can see it. There is also a memory IC, apart from that the power IC is placed here. The CPU is placed in this position, but we have removed it now for some practice purposes. Where the CPU is placed in that position where it is empty right now. Underneath that is the SIM tray where the SIM card is placed. Right next to that is the software tip where you can connect to a flash software. Underneath are several other tips including for the headphone, mic, um, hands-free charging tip and data connector tip. So, this is how a typical PCB looks like for any mobile phone. Turning around, let us look at the front side and how the tips are placed here. As you can very clearly see, you will be able to figure out where the keypad is. So, these are the keypad tips which are used to dial in numbers or to select menu or any of those things. Now, this PCB is for of a color mobile phone and you might see that there are multiple options on this PCB compared to the earlier PCB. Right on top is the display connector. Here we have a display connector instead of a display tip and in this model mobile phone, the, the display will also have a connecting point which plugs in into this position. So, in our earlier uh, mobile uh, handset, we saw that uh, there was a small display tip there and the display tip uh, is connected or it touches the display part or the display device of that mobile phone and that is how display is shown. Here we have a display connector and there is a similar connector placed on the display component. Both these connect together and you will be able to see the display very clearly. Now, each and every mobile will have very different uh, types of uh, components uh, or their component placements. So, it is important for you to understand uh, each of these circuit boards very clearly before you start working on them. Most of these uh, circuit boards or circuit diagrams are usually available on the internet or you might be able to get and uh, access the service manual of each of these mobile phones. They will clearly tell you how the components are placed, what are the connecting points, where the uh, circuit uh, goes, how in which direction the circuit is placed and how they are connected and that will help us understand how a mobile phone's PCB functions. Understanding that will help us ensuring that you are able to repair them effectively. We do hope you would have understood how this entire PCB uh, works and how the circuit in PCBs work. Going forward, we will try and work with each of these components and see how we can repair them or we can replace them in future videos. Thank you very much.